where I am likely to find it by Haruki Murakami, who was born on January 12, 1949. He was a Japanese writer. His first novel is The Here is Here the Wind Sing, published in 1979. His other notable works include Norwegian Wood, 1987, The Wind of God Chronicle, 1994-95, Kafka on the Shore, 2002. His work spans genres including science fiction, fantasy, crime fiction, and has become known for its use of magical elements. One of his short story collection is First Person Singular, published in 2020. His other non-fiction works include Underground, published in 1997, and What I Talk About When I Talk About Running. So this Underground is inspired by personal interviews he conducted with the victims of Tokyo subway sarin attack. And what I talk about when I talk about running is a series of personal essays about his experience as a marathon runner and he recalls himself as a black sheep in Japanese literary world. Stephen Poole praised him as among the world's greatest living novelists. His works use first person narrative and his works are a mix of fantasy and reality and he explores themes like loneliness, self-discovery, identity, culture, love, laws, spirituality, dreams, and the power of music. Characters in the short story. Husband. So the only name mentioned is husband's. Husband's name is Mr. Kurumisawa, K-U-R-U-M-I-Z-A-W-A. And he works in Merrill Lynch as stockbroker. He is the only son of his parents, 40 years old. His height is 5'8 and weight is 158. He loves pancakes. And he is the person missing in this short story. Second character is wife. She is 35 years old and she is determined to find her husband. She first approaches the police and then detective. Mother-in-law. She lives in the 24th floor and she is having some kind of panic attacks. Father-in-law. He died at the age of 68 and he was a Buddhist priest of Jorose and he was the head of the temple in the Toshima ward. Detective, detective is the person who takes this missing case and he does his job without remuneration and it is out of sheer passion. Another one character is runner and this runner is using the stairs to work out. Old man is the person who is walking and sitting in the so far, young girl, young girl is using that mirror because she says that it is the best mirror there in that apartment. So this short story, where I am likely to find it, is included in the collection of 24 short stories known as Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, published in 2006. Next, let us look into the plot of the short story. In Tokyo, a woman's father-in-law is killed in a streetcar, a streetcar accident, leaving her mother-in-law a widow. The mother-in-law then moves into the same building as the woman and her husband, so the couple can be near her. They live two floors above her in a high-rise. One day, they receive a phone call from the mother-in-law asking for her son to come down. She has cardiac problems. After he is done, he calls his wife and asks her to prepare pancakes and that he will return soon. After a while, he does not come back, which causes the woman to call the police and eventually file a missing person report. A private detective agrees to work searching for the husband in the building stairs. The husband never uses the elevator. He suspects that the man could be a stockbroker turned painter like Paul Gauguin, who suddenly moved to Tahiti to pursue his new passion but ultimately shoots that idea down, realizing that he disappeared without taking his wallet and other essentials. Near the beginning of this search, he meets a jogger running up the stairs who says he saw the husband using the stairs but did not know him well. Later on, he meets an elderly man who lived on the same floor as the husband and knew the man but never discussed anything meaningful with him. A few weeks later, he talks with a young girl but refrains from doing anything suspicious or mentioning that he is looking for the husband. They instead talk about donuts and he says he is looking for a dough. 
the woman calls 20 days after the disappearance to tell the detective that her husband has been discovered at Sendai station. The last thing he remembers is heading back to his place for pancakes with his wife. He thanks him for his efforts and the man resolves that he will continue his search for the dough. So this short story is a kind of a complex one and uh, it is like searching something that is impossible to find and not knowing what to start, where to start. And this short story can also be viewed as the search for inner self of the detective. And the major themes I felt is uh, memory loss, the loss of the memory of the husband and escapism escaping from the real world then inner consciousness inner consciousness of the detective reality versus imagination and life of a widow and her instability